Hi, this is Karin Tuchida. Hi, this is Karin from Japan. Today I like to talk about Nihonga. What is Nihonga is history and materials you use for it. So let's begin with what is Nihonga, what Nihonga is and the history behind this amazing art. The term Nihonga meaning Japanese style paintings came into use in the beginning of the Meiji period in around 1890s to distinguish painting styles which had already existed from western style oil paintings or yoga called yoga in Japanese imported from Europe at the time. In 1882, Ernest Fenelosa who taught philosophy at Tokyo University pointed out the following as characteristics of Nihonga and evaluated its excellence in his lecture on the new theory of art. Number one, it does not seek realism. It do Number one, it does not seek realism as in a photograph. Number two, it does not have shadows. Number three, it has an outline. Number four, the color tone is not rich. Number five, the expression is simple. In 1889, the Tenshin Okakura who worked with Fenelosa established Tokyo School of Fine Arts, later or now Tokyo Art University. Key figures in the Nihonga movement are, Taika, are Taikan Yokoyama, Shinzo Hishida, Kanzan Shimomura, and Buzan Kimura, whom they were the first students of Tokyo School of Fine Arts. So, in conclusion, the term Nihonga is used to distinguish Japanese style paintings from Western style oil paintings during the Meiji period in around 1890s, originated in Japan, having its most proficient exponents in the figures of Yokoyama Taikan, Hishida Shunso, Shimomura Kanzan, Kimura Buzan and Kano Hogai and Takeuchi Seiho. Next, I'm gonna show you the materials I use.